Hi, today I'll be showing you how to set up a placement study simulation to analyze how your antenna's performance is affected when placed on your hardware. The example we'll be looking at today is the remote controller. Let's select it from CAD approach and import the CAD file of our model into CENOS. The first thing that the app asks us to do is to select whether or not we want to generate our automatic air domain, to which I'll just say yes and press continue. And once that is done, we will have successfully imported our geometry. Let's select the appropriate application type, microchip slash PCB, as that our antenna, in this case, is a patch antenna. Now we can start applying the roles of the geometry. We'll start with the substrate. I'll click the substrate in the preview and then click Assign once it turns blue. Next up, we will, have, we will define the patch in the ground. In this case, there are two D surfaces on the substrate. Same procedure as before, just click and assign. And lastly, we have to assign the port definition for our antenna. In this case, we have the discrete port definition, which means two terminals, one for the patch and one for the ground, and that's where we'll be applying the voltage to. And now we have to assign the, the role for our controller. In this case, I want the controller to be a conductor and I'll add that role to the role screen and select it in the model. And once that is done, we can head on over to the physical settings. In here, we have to assign the frequency of our model in which we want to simulate. In this case, we'll start with three 2 GHz and end with 3 GHz with a frequency step of 20. In the next tabs, we have to select the materials of our model. So I want the substrate to be FR4. And in materials library, I'll find the material FR4 and click apply. The rest of the materials, so the controller body, is automatically assigned as perfect conductor. So um, in this case, I want it to be aluminum. So I'll select aluminum and head on over to the next parts. The ground and the patch are automatically assigned as perfect electric inductors, and I'll leave them as is. And the port is automatically assigned to have a 50 ohm input impedance and a zero degree facial angle. And that is it for our physical settings, and we could just click run and let the simulation complete. And here we have the results of our simulation. And based on these results, we can see that the antenna's radiation pattern is indeed affected by the conductive body of the controller, as seen on here on the left in the far field visualization. On the right side, we can see the electric field distribution of the antenna. On the second tab, we can see the Cartesian and the polar slices of the radiation pattern as well. And on the last slide, we can see the S parameters, the S parameter phase, the impedance characteristic graph, as well as the voltage to standing wave ratio. Thank you for listening.